Pat Love, Love Healing Hearts here with a question. Is there a root of bitterness in there somewhere? Springing up? Troubling you? Causing problems? Hmm. Well, this is what Hebrew 12, starting at verse 14, says about that. 14 and 15. That's it. Two verses. And then we'll have Pat's two cents. Listen up. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Whew, that's a deep little statement right there. Uh, I want to ask you a quick question. This just came to my mind. I got to ask you this. You know, I have a little way of saying things that <clears throat> kind of frazzle the hairs of a lot of saints, but I like getting it crystal clear so everyone understands what we're really talking about. Have you ever walked into, we're going to go both ways. Have you ever walked into a restroom? And somehow they had it all fixed up where the air is constantly smelling fresh and the air freshener device is working. And you're like, whoa, what is that scent? I'd like to have that in my house. And then there are other times you go into a public restroom, whether it's clean or not so clean, the air is foul and you could barely catch your breath because somebody use that bad boy before you walked in and they didn't care how bad of a stink they left behind. But even though they're not there anymore and they're not occupying the stall, they're back in the restaurant or have paid their money for their food and have gone home. The stench is still lingering in that bathroom. And if you have to walk in there, baby, it's going to hit you right in your face. And it's a foul odor. We know what odor that is now, don't we? Well, guess what? That is how some of you, because of the level of anger, the level of frustration and years of resentment, have piled up in your heart so so negatively and for so long and you have refused to deal with it because you don't want to think about it. You don't want to talk about it. But everywhere you go, you leave a foul stench because if everybody's having a good time and everybody's enjoying themselves at whatever setting, by the time you get through standing in that room, you're going to bring somebody down. You'll have a negative, snide remark about the food. You'll look over and criticize somebody's outfit or wig. You'll look at somebody and talk about how bad their teeth look. You'll tell somebody off when they're trying to serve you your food and you look at them like, you know, what's the matter with you? I said I wanted so-and-so. All you got to do is put the spoon and you want me to do it for you or you don't know what you're doing. And people are like, what the heck did that come from? Well, you're walking around angry. You're sour. You're disgusted. You're resentful and bitter. Whew, more bitter than bitter herbs. You are bitter. And it doesn't take much to make you fly off the handle. So if they look at you funny, you, you got a problem? Well, look at somebody else. Don't stand there looking at me. I'll straighten that look out. If you got a problem with me, open your mouth and say it, baby. You looking at me like you done lost your mind. Where's the manager? Let me get you fired. I mean, everywhere you go, you just spoil it for everybody. What is that? Root of bitterness springing up, 
troubling you, and thereby many be defiled, just like a stinking bathroom. Everybody that goes in that door got to smell your stink. Okay, I'm going to get a little graphic here. <laughs> My sister used to talk about how the different ways when you have to use a public restroom, how you can hurry up and get rid of the stench <laughs> if you have to take care of some, some detailed business there. Some people will light a match to camouflage or try to kill the odor. But one thing my sister always said to all of us, you know, when we were kids, flush that toilet as soon as it comes out. <laughs> Don't let it sit there and ferment. And this is what we do with our emotions. We let some of that anger and some of those, those sorry memories and the the, the the injustices that we just can't seem to get over and our resentments against them, we let them fester. We let them ferment. <sighs> and after a while, we wonder why nobody wants to be around us. Because we're snapping at this one and snapping at that one and you got a problem. No, they, they're not the ones with the problem. You are. But you won't deal with it. You won't flush it down the toilet. So everybody has to be victimized by your foul aroma. Get that thing healed. Go to God and ask him to take all that anger out. Go to God and ask him to heal your heart, to heal your mind, to cleanse your memories of all the sour effects and residual effects of being misused, mistreated, uh, uh, hurt. Whatever it is that's got you that way, baby, get some air freshener. And the only thing that's going to freshen up your air and your attitude is the healing power of God. Okay. I think you get my point. Hopefully, you got this one. And hopefully, you want to do something about it. Because it gets real lonely the older you get. And when your kids don't want to be around you, because everything they do has fouled up your life. And everything they do or don't do is all against you. And you just don't understand why everybody gets so upset with you. Come on now. It's time to go to God and say, Lord, what's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? There are too many people with the same reaction towards me. What am I doing wrong? Show me my ugly side. Show me myself. And if I'm in denial, remove it. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Heal my rotten heart so that I can learn to love again. I can learn to be positive and, and joyful. I've lost my joy, Lord, and I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Go on and be real with him. He knows it. He knows what's got you so sick and messed up. You're the one that's been turning a blind eye to it. Talk to the hand. I don't want to hear it. You're the one that's been dealing with it like that. It's time for a change, y'all. God bless you. Seek God with all your heart and seek peace while you're at it.